Alright, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Path of Radiance. In the last part, we saved, um, Mist and Rolf, and we, and we met Shinnan and Gatry. So here we have Ike with a talking scene with his dad Grail, the owner of the Grail Mercenaries, and he'll he'll have a chance to speak with Ike, which he hasn't before. So he disobeyed Titania's direct orders, and he says he takes full responsibility for ha for what happened. Uh, and Boyd jumps in and says, "I did it off my own free will as well." And then Rai says the same thing. And then Oscar saying he set a poor example. So, and then he's saying, "I'm glad you all decided to shield my son, but uh, he disobeyed a superior order, so he is confined in his quarters for ten days." Rules exist for a reason, Mist. Men won't survive on the battlefield. If they do, they wish without, you know, when the whatever. So he accepts his reprimand, and he goes out to his quarters for ten days. Um, Oscar Boyd and Rise, Oscar Boyd and Rise are going with Grail. Shinnan and Gatry are going with, and Ike are going with Titania. He's not, he has more work to do, but um, until they're not going to go out on the battlefield without him because he's part of the mercenaries and they need him for this job so he's saying Grail mentioned that he's his punishment doesn't start until um, the work is done so this grandfather hired the Grail mercenaries um, to kill these bandits that have been causing trouble ever since their boat came into port and I am with Shinnan and Gatry, they're called the Thunder and the Lightning. Gatry is the Thunder, and he Gatry crashes into him like thunder, and Shinnan run rains arrows down on him like lightning. I think that's like damn cool. Alright. Uh Titania tells Ike to hold back and let Shinnan and Gatry soften them up. Once they've whittled down the numbers, we'll all rush on the ship and kill whatever's left. I love the way that they automatically set up, too, because the way Titania set it is... Let, um... Well, anyways, um, we were greeted with our first uh, pre-thing in the game. We get to choose our units, which we can't do. Well, we can't... We, I can choose to, like, oh, well, no. All these guys are in green, which means we have to take them. And the guys in red mean they're not available, remember, because Oscar, Boyd, and Rise went with Grail. We can reposition our units, and let's say I want Shinnan right there, which I think I do. Or, no, I want him right... Mm. No, that's good. Um, so, yeah, you can see the battle conditions. We have to... Uh... We have to defeat the boss, and we'd lose if Ike dies. So, here we're just gonna go into battle. That's enough of that. So, right here, I'm just gonna send Shinnan up here. And hit him. This is our first Bowman in the game. Uh, I'm gonna be using Shinnan more than Gatchet because I like Shinnan more. Uh, and... Shinnan Bowmen are can be used from long range, but they can't hit um, close range. Like if a guy walks up to him, he can't attack back. They have to hit from one space behind, which is kind of a a big fault. But what's good about Bowmen is that they have a very high speed and skill which means they can dodge really easily and they're really good at it so that's that's a plus because that way uh, even if they're being attacked they can dodge pretty easily so once those guys are killed um, 
That's fine. Okay. So uh, apparently it's called indirect contact with bowmen, where they can't directly attack who they're attacking. Um. All right. So they don't move very much, and we're gonna use Shinnin to attack him. We don't want to kill him, we're gonna cripple him for Ike to finish him off. So we'll use an Iron Bow. <sighs> Shinnin won't be gaining too much experience because he is a sniper, and I believe, yeah, that is the, uh upped class, like a paladin is the upped class of a, uh, a lance rider. Um, so he won't be gaining too much experience, but we're still going to use him because we need him. Plainly put, we need him to injure these guys, because as you can see, even though he's uh, really strong, he still can't take them out. So here in this house we meet Unknown. This town seems quite unruly, wouldn't you say? It's it always this dangerous? Plagued by pirates. You appear to be a mercenary here. Take this. And we get an elixir. An elixir is like a vulnery, like we met, like we saw earlier. A vulnery. Uh, it's like a vulnery, only it heals all the way. So here's an enemy sniper. Or, I think this is just a bowman. <laughs> Like it would do damage. Getri has, uh, knights have beastly defense, like a lot of defense. And, but they're really slow and they have really small movement range. I think just to be cool, I'm gonna use Shinnin to take this guy out. He does no damage to Shinnin. Shinnin is, uh, kind of like a special sniper. He, uh, even though he has really high. Oh, crit! Even though he has really high skill, he also has like a decent number of defense. So even though he like can dodge really good, he even if he takes a hit, it won't be too devastating to him. I think should I like this is really risky. Just sending Ike alone up here. But I think because Shinnin is in range, they'll attack him because most uh um, non, like, most, when you're playing against the computer, which you can only do, uh, they'll generally go for people who can't attack back, but I guess that's not the case, because I, oh, he's using a hand axe, which is a, um, throwable axe, which can be used from a range space, yeah, see what I mean? They will always attack people who can't hit back, they're assholes like that. So, yeah, um, they do attack Shinnin in place of Ike, which is good. Um, I think we're fine anyways, because they can't really hit him. Ike has come into a fighter of his own. Uh, here we're going to move up here and attack the guy with the hand axe, just to get some hits on him. Even though hand axes have really low hit chance, so I think we're totally fine with letting him drill in to Ike with a hand axe as much as we can, but... Ooh, we got a weapon level up, which means now we can use more advanced swords, and we can... Yeah, that's basically it. I think we do more damage with uh, weaker swords, too. I'm not entirely sure. But it'll let us use stronger swords. So I can now use, what level am I? See, I can use a, uh, I don't know what C gives you. Killing swords? Killing, yeah, I think that's it. So here's Marcia. You boat monkey, you tricked me, didn't you? Uh, you said you knew the whereabouts of my older brother. That's why I came on along with you on the ship. So he doesn't know where the brother is, and Marcia is like, where's my brother? That's horrid. Uh, la -di -da, -di da Her brother apparently is a avid gambler and owes these pirates monies. Oh, how do I say monies? 
Anyways, owes the pirates money, so uh, this is gonna be the first. Why did he attack me close up? That's dumb. Anyways, uh, get a level up here. Level eight. That's pretty good. Um, this is the first part in this game where we're going to be introduced to uh other players which is actually what it's called um other players marcia is now on the other fa other players team and that means there's a green ring around her and we don't control her but she's on our side we can't control her but she's on our side so she's not going to attack us and if the enemies attack her she'll attack back but we don't, she doesn't get experience when she kills enemies. So what we want to do is get to her as fast as possible um, to get a player on the other... Ooh, crit. <laughs> to get a player on the other player's team. See how it says other phase. So anyways, to get a player that's on their team, you need to talk to them with the appropriate character, which I forget what it is. I think it's Ike. It has to be... I don't know. It, it might be Ike, it might be Shinnin, it might be Titania. It might be Gatry. It could be it. <laughs> I I don't know I don't think it's Ike. Normally it's the it's the player who your whole team campaigns again with. Like the main player of your team, which is Ike in this case, but Ike is like in this game he's like new Ooh, crit. That's a cool crit animation. In this case, he's new, he doesn't know anybody, so, I mean, I don't know why it would be Ike, but it might. You never know. Alright. So, just to be safe, it could be any one of these guys, so we're gonna move them all up. Sees it Titania. Nope. Ike. Ooh. Yep. Okay, it is Ike. Oh, crackers. There's too many of them. Uh, I want to know what the original game said. Like, it didn't say crackers. Uh, crackers. Um, so I can tell them, don't give up. I'm a mercenary. The village has hired us to get rid of these pirates. Are you, are you going to help me? Of course. Let me and my companions take it from here. You can escape while the pirates are distracted. That would be fantastic. Thanks so much. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. It's all in a day's work. Pshaw, you're helping me out. I should show my gratitude somehow. That's nice, but I can't think of any way of the top of my head. Just get off somewhere safe, please. Well, then I'll talk to you later about repaying my debt. What's your name, handsome? Um, I'm Ike with the Grail Mercenaries. Ike, got it. I'm Marcia. Pegasus Knight from Benyon. Don't forget me. Alright, I'll be seeing you later. So, she leaves. Sometimes different things happen when you talk to them with different people, so... She might have stayed and fought with us fought with us if I talked to her with maybe Shinin or Gatry. But it didn't look like she knew the Grail Mercenary, so I don't think so. I don't think there would have been anything different. He's gonna move up and attack with a hand axe, which is going to miss, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. This is running on kind of a long level. The levels will get longer, so I might have to split split chapters into separate parts. Um, I don't know if it's in this game. No, it doesn't look like it. Where um, attacking from low ground onto high ground has lower accuracy. And it doesn't look like it. Wow, he hit me. Ouch. Ooh. That's what you get. I kind of didn't want to kill him with Shinnin. I wanted to finish him off with Ike, but it's I. Whatever. If I finish him off with like I wouldn't have gotten the hand axe. So we get our hand axe, and I'm fine with health. I'm gonna give him an option on whether to attack Ike or Gatry. They're probably going to choose Ike because Gatry has amazing defenses. I love the way the hand axe animation goes. It just, he just throws it. It's like a boomerang. He throws it, spins around, and comes right back. I think that's hilarious, because that would never happen. So here comes this big bandit with an iron axe. We're just going to hit him a couple times. I think, I think we can kill him on our turn. I think that did eight. 
Yep, eight. Okay. So just gonna take him out. It's just neat. It's like his hand look weird when he's standing like that. Not the hand on the sword, but the hand facing down. It just looks kind of deep, strange. Anyways. Uh, we're gonna take the hand axe guy here. For two reasons. One, um... Oh. That just kind of made my reasons not matter at all. Basically what I was going to say is, if we attack the Hand Axe guy, we're not going to kill him, and we can let Ike finish him off. And if we did, if we attack this guy, we were probably going to kill him. And, um, he's the boss, and we want to get more experience for Ike. So, let's see. Hit him with an Iron Bow. Hopefully not get a crit. Yep, okay. That's good. Let's see how much damage. I don't think I can kill him when he's this when he's got this much health. Oh no, we're good. Alright. I was just basing it off of what we did to the other bandit, which was eight damage, and we're doing eight damage to him as well. So obviously they both have the same defense. Get back what you stole from these good folk and set sail. So he's gonna be like hardy har har, we're not leaving, and then now he's dead. All right. Skill and defense and HP. That's pretty good. Those are some good, useful stats. Uh, we've driven out the pirates. Your people have to suffer no more indignities from their hand. Here's your pay as promised. I always wished that with all the pay you get from the jobs you do, you actually get to use that money. But unfortunately, it goes to the accompaniment of the people. So, yeah. Um, I would like to um, tell you guys about the the country we live on, but I am out of time. And maybe the storyline is going to take that. I don't really know. Because I know about the whole backstory because they talk about it in the next game. But you guys have don't know. Maybe you do, but maybe you don't. So um, Basically, what they're talking about here is um, how honor and what they're talking about. He's so hungry he could eat a wyvern. Um... If you're looking for pride, I have it. You and my father have kept this mercenary group together, and I'm just proud to be part of it, that's all. I think. Surrounded by idealistic fools. What's so wrong with fame? What's wrong with having money and to live with? So, that's the end of this chapter. I will meet you guys in the next chapter, called... Uh, oh, called... This is kind of a long part, I'm noticing. Roadside battle. I'll meet you guys then.